What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is gonna be a tips and tricks video on the new Google Pixel tablet, which also acts as a smart home device. So without further ado, let's jump in to that. So let's first go into the dock mode. So I have it connected to the dock currently, but what if you wanna control some of the settings? So swipe down from the top and click the gear at the bottom here, and this will bring you into settings. The next thing that you want to do is go into hub mode. Here's the hub right here, and you can see what to show. You can click on screensaver, and you have to turn this on, and you can have it when to start. You can do it while it's charging, just regular without the dock, or you can do it while it's docked and charging. So you can choose between the two. And then this is where you can choose what you want it to exclusively show so you can have just a plain old art gallery or a full screen clock or your google photos or the weather or the weather frog <laughs> um, you can show in additional information such as uh, the weather and other information and you can show, show home controls as well if you have smart home devices so you can hit preview to see what it's going to look like and i have this little home device down here if i tap that so the way you can act that, I didn't set mine up, but you can control hard, some smart home devices from this tablet set up in your Google Home app. So you can hit set up home in order to do that and hit it open app. Also, if you wanna see different photos that you're looking at, you can swipe through them very easily just going like this. If you do choose your Google Photos from here, just go into customize and you can actually create and manage what kind of photos that you wanna see from um, certain people to certain things or whatever. It's very easy to just tap on it and you can choose it from there. All right, going back home, this is your home screen. You got your Google stuff over here. You also have, if you swipe up, you can go see your apps. This again, these are your home screens. If you wanna change your home screen settings, choose a blank spot somewhere and then choose home settings. You have notification dots. So those will show up little dots next to the apps that you have if you have notifications you can turn that on or off really easily right there next you have at a glance if you turn that on or off you can come in here if you turn it off it'll go off obviously but you can also customize it and it will show all kinds of information such as the earthquake alerts ride sharing package delivery bedtime and this pulls this information from your different google products and it shows it right here that's at a glance right there next under home settings you have add app icons to home screen. I like turning that on so any new apps you download, it'll automatically put them on your home screen. Next is swipe to access Google app. That was the, if you turn that on or off, that's this right here. You can turn that off so it doesn't show up if you want. So you can automatically uh, show that and just turn it on or off right there uh, under swipe to access Google app. Overview suggestions, so show suggested actions and indicators. In overview, you can turn that on or off. For all apps and home screen suggestions, you have this. Um, you can, basically what this is, is that it allows you to get suggestions for things to click on, basically uh, in your all apps list. You can turn it on and off there. You can also turn it off on your home screen. And you can also block certain apps so that they don't show up. Next would be search your tablet. When you search for anything, you can have it always show your keyboard and show people, web suggestions. You can turn any of these things on and off. And that's basically when you search right there or right here. Now, navigating the tablet, swiping up will bring you home. I'll show you. Swiping up and holding will bring up your recent apps and bring up this little task bar. And swiping from the left or the right will go back a step. So from here, reading an article, I can come in here and you can see, no matter where I am, I can swipe left or right to go back. It depends what you wanna do. Now let's swipe up and hold here real quick. If you wanna easily multitask, you see you get a split screen right there. So I can hit split and then I can choose another app if I want and I can easily split screen and you can make one larger or smaller. So I can play this video right here if I wanted to, just let me turn my volume down. So I can play a, a video right here while also you know, reading a website and I can pinch in and, and see what I'm looking at. Another way to multitask is just swiping up and holding and then pulling the app in again. So maybe you want your camera. So we'll go up here, you can press and hold it and you can drag it to where you want. Maybe like there, like I wanna take a picture but I also want to view the website. So you can do that really easily and you can switch these around if you want. So maybe you want YouTube there now. 
So again, it's very easy to multitask on here and run multiple apps at once. Press and hold on a blank spot on the home screen, go into wallpaper and style. This is how you can change your wallpaper quite easily, hit change wallpaper choose the one that you want. You have all kinds of different free ones. There's actually a lot in here. Maybe you like landscapes. Come in here and choose what you like. Maybe you like this blue kind of background. And you can choose for lock screen and home screen. And you hit set wallpaper, or you can do both if you want. Once you choose your wallpaper, under wallpaper and style, you can actually choose different colors. So you can see I have kind of like a, a pink looking, but if I wanted to click and change that, I easily can to different colors and different styles. And so it kind of themes your things around. You can also turn on dark theme right here if you like your screen to be dark, which I do. I, I turn that on. Theme your icons. It will theme out your icons on your home screen to, to match whatever color uh, situation that you chose for your designs. Next up is if you press and hold again and go into widgets. You have widgets here and you can easily choose different widgets. So like widgets are just apps that live on your home screen. So let's choose Bing for a moment here. And maybe I want Bing's weather. So I'm gonna press and hold it. I'm gonna choose a location of where to put it. I'll put it on this screen, put it right here. And it's showing me San Diego. I can, sometimes you can resize these. It doesn't look like this one resizes, but that'll tell you what you would do it. You press and hold it and then make it uh, bigger or smaller. So yeah, very cool. You can put it anywhere basically you want on your screen and you have that weather. You can even tap on it as well. And if you want to remove it, press and hold it and then bring it up to remove. Next, let's go into camera. If you want to quickly open your camera up here, you'll see your uh, fingerprint sensor and power button. If you press that twice, it'll automatically open up your camera from any location. It's very, very helpful. Just double press it and it'll do it for you. And in here, you can see you can switch to your camera and go through that. You also have different modes as well. If once you're in your camera, you can choose panorama, photosphere, lens. So it's not a bad camera either. I took some photos. Um, there's no portrait mode on the back camera, be forewarned. It's only on the front. Also, there's certain settings up here. If you come in here, you can hit go to more settings. And then it brings you into camera settings. And under camera settings, you can do a couple of things. You can turn off sound so it doesn't make a sound when you take a photo. You can turn on and off Google Lens uh, suggestions. You can go into gestures and have a certain gesture uh, for the shutter button. You can use the volume key to take a photo. Go into advanced. So there's a couple things in here that some of the stuff is already turned on, so just keep that in mind. Next, let's go into your quick toggles. So you swipe down from the top. These are your quick toggles. If you want to add or remove any of these, just press the pencil. And let's just say you don't want security and privacy. You just press and hold it. It'll still be on and still be there. It's just not going to be in your quick toggles. I moved it there. And let's say, you know what? I really want to bring dark theme in. So I'm going to press and hold it. And I can put it where I want it when I'm done. I'm all good. I can hit the back button and now dark themes there and the other one that I had is gone. If you want to add another user on here, swipe down from the top. You'll see a little picture of who you have. Just tap on it and you'll see that person. And if you want to add another person, just click on add and then you can hit add user, add child, add guest or manage your users. Swipe down from the top again. You can hit this power button and this will allow you to lock the tablet, power it off or restart. Pressing the volume buttons at the top if you press them once, you have different ones. If you press that little three dots, you can actually control your media volume, your call volume, your ring and notification volume, or your alarm volume. So it's a quick way to control all your volumes at once. Um, again, just all you're gonna do is press the volume button no matter what, and then hit the three dots, and then you can go like that and control it and just drag these the way you want. Now that we're in settings, go to notifications. If you don't wanna show sensitive information when your screen is locked, turn this um, on or off. So basically it will, if you're okay, turn it on by, by sensitive information, it'll show like what the notification says. Otherwise, if you turn it off, it'll just show notifications, um, like which app sent you a notification. It won't say who sent it or what it says. Next, go into battery and then you'll see battery percentage. I like seeing my battery percentage at the top there. If you like that too, turn that on. If you're running out of space, go to storage and then free up space. And you can easily delete unused apps that you want right here. You can hit select apps and you can do ba -ba 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 and then hit uninstall at the bottom. You can also delete large files here. If you don't want them, you can select them and delete them. Go under sound. Now playing, turn this on. This is going to identify songs. It'll put them on your home screen and let you know what song like 
For instance, Never Be Alone by Shad Rowe was one of the last songs that this heard. And I can tap on that and it'll show me all the songs that I heard recently in here. And if I want, I can put hearts next to them. I can even tap on it and I can open up in Spotify or whatever music app I want. So just make sure you have identify songs playing nearby turned on. Under sounds, if you want to turn off any of these sounds, such as when it docks or any touch sounds or charging sounds, you can turn all of those off right here. You can also change your default notification sounds. You can come in here, tap on it and choose the one that you want. You like, you know, see what this one sounds like. It sounds like that. You can choose what you want. Also under sounds, your dock speaker, you can have it just play media or you can have it choose all your audio. So if there's a notification or anything else, you can come in here and choose which audio it'll actually play through those dock speakers when it's connected. You'll see display here. This is where you can change your brightness level. You can also change your brightness level right up top here by dragging that bar. Adaptive brightness, you can turn that on or off. If you just want your display to be completely bright or whatever set to a certain brightness, you can turn that off. Otherwise it'll control it based off the lighting in the room. Screen timeout, change that to two minutes. That's gonna be how long it takes before your screen turns off. If you wanna turn on dark theme, you can. You turn it on right here. And uh, if you press on it too, you can set a schedule if you want. Adaptive tone will automatically adapt the color of your screen, warmer or cooler tones based on the ambient lighting. You can turn that on or off if you want it to just always look a certain color. If you like that yellowish tone on your screen because it, you know, the, the blue tones hurt your eyes, just press that on and it'll always be that kind of orangey yellow color. Colors, you can change the colors of your screen right here. You can either choose a natural look or adaptive. I like the adaptive look on here. Auto rotate screen. If you hate your screen rotating, if you depend upon how you use it, turn this on or off. Next, go down to system, go into gestures. If you want to quickly open your camera, say that double tap isn't working, come in here and just turn that on. System navigation. If you don't like using gestures, you can come in here and switch to the old three school navigation buttons at the bottom. Tap to check tablet. You can turn that on or off. That's basically when your screen's off, you can just double tap the screen and it will show the screen. You can also lift to check tablet, turn that on or off and it will show you information about your tablet. Press and hold the power button. You can have it do a couple things. I like it to show the power menu, but you can have it have it show your uh, digital assistant if you want. Also under system, you have system updates. Come in here, tap on that and see if you have any updates. If you do, you can download and install them. And there you guys go. Those are my tips and tricks for the Google Pixel tablet. If you want to pick this up, it's linked down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.